Disclaimer, if you are Shaquille O'Neal and you are watching this video, please, d don't sue me. Hey everyone, it's Shaq. I need your help. You know I got a lot of wild stories to tell, but now it's time to do something with those stories. I need you to listen to my stories at shaqtoon.com, download the ones you like, and make an animated short to it. The cartoons you make, I mean Shaq Tunes, will be featured on my new show called Shaq Life. So make me look good. And send me your submissions by Friday, September 20th. That's right, animators. I'm gonna make you famous. Hey, I'm an animator, and I want to be famous. Sounds like a good deal to me. Today, we're doing something that's never been done before in the history of YouTube. We're clowning on a celebrity. Subway, eat fresh nuts. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal, known for amazing properties such as Shaq Fu and Shaq Fu, is getting his own brand new television show called Shaq Life on TNT. Mr. O'Neal has had a lot of success with television in the past, so I can understand why they'd want to create a brand spanking new show. Because again, his previous endeavors were extremely successful. Jenga. <laughs> What's interesting about this series in particular though is that Shaquille is looking to hire some freelance animators for story time segments that he likes to call Shaq Tunes. However, instead of just hiring people based off their portfolios, TNT had the amazing idea to instead make it a contest. That's right, if you animated a 40 second segment and submitted it online, you could not only have your animated shorts shown on TV, but you'd also be awarded the grand prize of... $500! Okay, let's be real for a sec. Getting paid $500 to make a TV quality animated short like this is... Well, it's horrible. In fact, if you think about it, it's kind of below minimum wage. Animators are already infamously taken advantage of by bigger studios, so a competition like this just sort of rubs salt in the wound. And boy, did the internet erupt at this. It's been a little while since I've seen so many people on the same page about something, especially the mistreatment of animators. Although, I will give Shaq and TNT the benefit of the doubt. They did eventually raise the prize money to a whopping $10,000 after a substantial battle. Backlash. But even then, the contest was still a little bit shady, if I'm being honest. At the end of the day, only one person will get paid any prize money, which would be standard for any contest, but as the fine print states, Turner Broadcasting gets full ownership of any submission, winner or not. That means that anything you submit is now owned by them, and can be used without compensation if you're not the winner. You can't even post your submission anywhere online to showcase your month-long work endeavor, or at least without explicit permission. You can't even post it legally to your own private work portfolio without risking potential legal action. But, with all that said, damn man, I still want to make a Shaq tune. That's right, the moment that I saw this tweet, I decided that I was going to make a Shaq tune. That this is what I'd be wasting my life on for the next two weeks. You hear that, Shaq? This is all for you, my guy. But before we get into the creation of my magnum opus, let's get into the advertisement because this video is sponsored by NordVPN. Yeah, but no, seriously, this video is actually sponsored sponsored by NordVPN. Like, if you go to nordvpn.com slash saltydkdan right now, it actually works. You can get 70% off a three-year plan with it, like th an actual discount. It's real. Yeah, I don't get why they contacted me either, but hey, I already love NordVPN a whole lot, so uh, thanks guys for the support. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash saltydkdan to get 70% off a three-year plan. Stay tuned near the end of the video so I can tell you more about my internet trauma and why you should check out NordVPN. Audio and writing. Now, when it comes to the original Shaktoons contest, they actually put up a website where you could download a selection of audio recorded by Shaq himself to then animate. Sadly though, I can't use any of this audio to make my Shaq tune because if I did and I put it in a video, then Turner Broadcasting would have the grounds to sue me. And if I'm being honest, I... 
I really don't want to be sued. I barely know what a lawyer even does. So instead, I've decided to capture the essence of Shaq through writing and recording my own Shaq tune script. Writing it all up was probably the easiest part of the process. A simple 40 second emulation of a signature Shaq story is pretty easy to pull off. I mean, about 90% of them revolve around him being large and super relatable. You don't have to be a genius writer to pump something like that out. The harder part though was picking who should actually voice the role of Shaq for my animation. Initially, I was going to try and go for it myself, but in all honesty, my voice just can't replicate Shaq's smooth, buttery undertones. So that left me with only one option, posting an open audition to the denizens of Twitter, hoping that one of them would make for the perfect Shaq. The results? Eh, we're mixed. Hey, how's it going, homeboys? It's your boy. Shaquille O'Neal here, famous basketball player, wing eater, and free animation asking for her. And we're back at it with another Minecraft video. Who my, who my, who my Shaq? <laughs> hey kids, it's your boy Shaq. I'm hosting a doodle contest, and the winners will get 500 V-Bucks. Hey, it's Shaq, Big Diesel. Did I mention I play basketball? Foot powder. What more could you ever need? Uh, it's me, Jack. Uh, I'm, uh, just give me five hundred dollars for an animation. Eventually, though, I narrowed down my choice to Chris Wilson. If that name sounds familiar to you, then you might know Chris as one of the creators of Cyanide and Happiness, a satirical webcomic recently turned animated web series. Chris has had some prior experience when it comes to voiceover, so I was pretty ecstatic to have him on board to record for the role of Shaq. Hello, Tony. Do I, who are you? I'm Space Jam. Now that I had my shack finally cast, I had to start working on how to make our audio quality as good as the one of Shaq on their website. Now, when it comes to some of the original audio Shaq had recorded for people to animate, it's pretty low quality. I can't play you an excerpt from it in this video because, again, legal action, don't want to get sued, but it's some seriously bad stuff. You'll either have to just trust me or check out their website for yourself. There is a crap ton of white noise, echo, jump jarring audio cuts, the whole shebang, and I'm honestly shocked how poor it sounds. Usually this type of low quality audio is used for something called a scratch track, a sort of rough initial cut of audio, but from what I can tell, this is the final track they gave people to work with. Thankfully, the quality of Shaq's audio could be replicated with three easy steps. Have Chris record the audio on his phone, in his bathroom, with the air conditioner on full blast. When I was in high school, I was a gamer. A gamer with attitude. And of course, the piece de resistance only record one take. Because God forbid that we have multiple different versions of this absolute travesty, I mean masterpiece. Please watch that live, only on TBS. Designs. Next up was considering some general character designs for our animated Shaq, and I decided to live stream my process in order to get feedback from my highly intelligent fan base. Okay, I'm gonna say this now. If anybody says in the chat, who's Joe, that's an instant ban. So I'm giving you all a chance. I'm sticking out an olive branch. If anybody wants to Shaq along at home, get out some paper, get out your drawing tablets, make your own Shaq. Send it to me. Maybe your design will be better than mine and I'll just use one of yours. I'll just steal your shit. Oh, this is this is an excellent Shaq. He can barely fit in the image. Ah, uh, yes, the famous Shaq quote. Eat, sleep, Fortnite, repeat. This is a, I'll, I'll admit, this is a pretty good Shaq. It's a very, very large Shaq. This is insanely large. This person made Shaq in the Powerpuff grill style not not powerpuff girl they they typed powerpuff grill so i'm thinking like george foreman guys guys bruh at tweeter burbs why so apparently the, the same artist who drew me buff as shit actually did draw a shack and you know what it works shack is a gamer 
Shaq is a gamer. So we're gonna go from this awesome Shaq to uh, this. He said, I thought you said shake. <laughs> Very cool. What the, what the fuck is this? You spent time on this. Dude, you spent time drawing this. Why? Why would you bring this into the world? <laughs> Already with this preview, you can kind of tell where this might be going. They made this. <laughs> Shaq is poisoning my brain. He's funneling carbon dioxide directly into my brain and, and it's killing me. I don't, okay, I don't get this one. What, what does this mean? I beef. What does this one mean? Is this like a code? <laughs> Help me, please. I, I got a question for you, bud. Why? This is fucking unacceptable. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. So if you don't know, uh, Shaq does a lot of commercials with this guy called the General. And the General is like an insurance thing. And uh, they're just... They're just lovers, I think. I think that's what those commercials mean. That they're like in a relationship. And I fully support them. I really do. Mixed race couple? This is really progress. <laughs> God damn it. Oh! Yep, this is exactly what I think it is. This is Steven Universe Shaq, and his gem weapon is a basketball. You guys happy we're doing this tonight? I'm happy. You ever just see, like, an image of Shaq and go, damn, that is Shaq. <laughs> so I was playing basketball. That sounds like the start of a good Shaq story. Honestly, this is the best one so far. Yeah, I just noticed that he's barefoot. I don't like it anymore. Okay, you know what? I think that this is a pretty good one to end off on. We finally got a good family guy shack. A good, wholesome family guy shack. See, this is, this is what TBS wants. They want easy, affordable to animate animation. Storyboard slash thumbnails. Next up was working on a rough outline of what this animation would look like, meaning that I'd have to start storyboarding, or more specifically, doing thumbnails. Storyboards are kind of like a rough draft for animation, and thumbnails are a rough draft for that rough draft. They're even sketchier looking than storyboards, and the reason that I decided to do only thumbnails is because I'm a lazy sack of shit. Let's get shacking. Shack tunes. Yeah, I'd say that looks pretty good. That's a pretty good title card for the thumbnail. We're not gonna make it too complicated. We don't have that much of a budget. My god, it, it looks like Shaq is really at school. Shaq is just like us! He goes to school too! And we could put like Sonic the Hedgehog here. I I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Look at me. Hi Shaq, it's me, Sonic the Hedgehog. Gotta go fast. See my new movie, Sonic the Hedgehog the Movie, being produced by Paramount Pictures, only in theaters. Next year, maybe. Gamer with attitude. So yeah, he's crossing his arms. He's a gamer with attitude. Don't mess with him. And now when you're, but when you're a big guy like me, gaming is hard. So we're gonna have him lurch forward. Aw, Shaq. Shaq, no. He is crying because he broke his controller. This is a relatable Shaq moment. I cannot believe Shaq would do this. Oh no. He is so sad. Someone help the Shaq boy. Please watch Shaq Life only on TBS. So this is this one he's going to lurch forward. He's going to lurch forward just a little bit and he's going to outstretch his arms and he's going to hold his hands out like this. Watch Shaq Life only on TBS. Normal Shaq Normal Shaq does whatever a Shaq does. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't. It's Shaquille O'Neal, you stupid fuck. Yeah, it's Shaquille O'Neal. You guys smell that? It smells like an ad break to me. Listen up, gang, this is serious boy hours. Internet safety is super important. All of my young life, I had been blissfully unaware to the dangers of the internet until they came knocking at my door. 
Open the door. I stream a lot on Twitch, and early in my internet career, there was a situation in which a random person I was playing an online game with decided to trace my IP address without my knowledge, nearly exposing where I actually lived to everyone watching, effectively doxing me. Thankfully, I was able to catch it in time, but this moment just goes to show that a breach in your internet privacy isn't as uncommon as you might think. But with the power of a VPN, I don't gotta be scared no more. NordVPN encrypts your online data so no nosy boys can go snooping around in your personal business. NordVPN has got it all, baby. Super fast servers, military grade encryption, and it's compatible with most operating systems. Not to mention iOS and Android devices. NordVPN also helps you get past region locked sites to play games and stream content not available in your location. Plus, this all comes with a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's literally no risk to try it out and see it for yourself. So again, and listen up this time, for a limited time, you can get 70% off a three-year plan at nordvpn.com slash saltydkdan. This special offer makes your subscription just $3.49 per month, so you can browse securely on all your devices. And for a short time, you can use code saltydkdan to get an extra month of service for free. Again, that is code saltydkdan to get an extra month of service for free. Big thanks to the people over at NordVPN for helping support the channel. And with all that said, back to whatever this is. Animation. Next up on the to-do list was animation. This would be the most difficult part of our Shaq Toons journey. Staying awake night after night, slaving away at my tablet, creating the greatest animated version of Shaq ever is what I would say if I didn't outsource all of my work. I mean, why keep all the glory to myself if I can share it with others and have them do most of the work? So I headed on over to Discord to ask my animator friends if any of them would have been interested in creating a modern day Mona Lisa, but animated with Shaq. Funnily enough, people were pretty interested in it. Hey guys, what's up? Would anybody maybe be down to animate for me? Don't worry, don't worry. I'll pay all of you in exposure and a peanut butter cookie. I got a peanut butter cookie. And so the greatest collaboration in the known universe was initiated. And as the director of this animated feature, I sat everybody down to assign different shots for them to animate. And for a while, it was all going over relatively smoothly. Everybody submitted their animated segments well before the deadline and everything was looking fantastic. Well, you know, in until I fucked it all up. So, I'm unsure exactly how I ended up doing this, but somehow, in my infinite wisdom, I assigned two animators the same scene. Yeah, I accidentally made two talented boys work on each of their own versions of the same shot. And thus, I was at an impasse. I had a new hurdle to jump over. Which iteration of the shot should I use for our finalized animation? And after toiling away on my decision for what seemed like hours upon hours, I came to a conclusion. I'm just gonna put both of them on screen at the same time. They both deserve it, so I'm just gonna include both of them. Take notes, everybody. Simple problems call for simpler solutions. The final product. And so, the time has come. The moment we've all been waiting for. My official directorial debut. My Shaq Tune. I hope that you enjoy. When I was in high school, I was a gamer. A gamer with attitude. But when you're a big guy like me, gaming is hard. The buttons on the controller are too small, so whatever I try to press wrap to make the blue hedgehog run, I snap the controller in half with my big fingies. It makes me sad sometimes. But it's okay, because I'm Shaq, and I'm relatable like that. Please watch Shaq Live, only on TBS. Wow, that was even better than I could have imagined it. Well, <clears throat> Shaq, if you're watching, consider this an open invitation. If you're interested in me and my team's work, my Twitter DMs are always open. 
Just saying, we can make something truly shacktastic.